Pretty close. Hey, social media, Mike here with Charles. Charles, what's up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> what, up, man? No, we're, we're live here today, guys. And I'm turning up the hustle, man. We are turning up the hustle. The whole office is turning up the hustle. You know, we're figuring out the TV in the background to turn up the hustle. Uh, so today, guys, we're doing a webinar, our podcast number 37. And as you can see, Charles is part of the new Trump the Hustle exclusive, is that the word? Exclusive mask. Yeah. Uh, today we're going to be talking about, uh, coincidentally, dude, we're going to be talking about how to close deals without talking to sellers. Talking how do we sellers. close deals without talking to sellers? That will be today's podcast. You want to say anything else before we go into our little... With the mask? Intro? With the mask? Yeah. Without the mask? I have to wear the mask because I don't know... I don't well, get you it. guys who know, you guys know he's always coughing. I know you guys talked about the phone. I don't know if I haven't coughed in a long time, man. The whole two hours. Uh, all right, guys, so today, guys, uh, how to close deals without physically talking to sellers when we come back, guys. Hi guys, we're back. So Charles, man, what, what do you got on? I feel like we're at some type of war show, man. What are you wearing today? I'm wearing, I'm wearing the, the Turn Up The Hustle protective gear, uh, specially made. Um, now these guys, I know we give out hustle gear. We do give out hustle gear. So those of you who, uh, you know, show the love and support us. But this one, I can't give it out because this one, uh, this one does, if you want one, this one does cost a little, just a little bit of money. My, my daughter makes them, and uh, it takes her time and materials. So the other stuff, we order it, we pay for it. But this one, uh, it's, she, she, where's yours at? It's in the car, man. You know, I'm not being safe, and she's going to see me not wearing the mask that she made for me. Well, can, you go get, can you go get his, his thing, man? It's, uh, the keys are on my desk. Okay, it's on the so she's going to see me on this thing. Yeah. She's like, Mike, I don't know if you want to go to this podcast because you're sitting next to Charles, and... You know, you know who knows the why? Because I don't know. I mean, you know, everyone has Corona, or people supposedly have Corona. And I mean, me personally, I haven't seen no one really sick with it. Or any, you know, my sister, uh, my sister works in the hospital. My brother works in the hospital. Virginia works in the hospital. Yeah. I don't know how many Corona patients really have in all the hospitals. To, to be honest with you, in my opinion. But because Charles is sporting his mask, uh, my boyfriend's gonna go get mine. Um, so yeah, guys, exclusive mask. My wife actually made them. They are filtered. Uh, with some type yeah. of filter on it, it's supposed to uh, protect a lot of stuff. But speaking of having a mask, speaking of having what something, what time was it filtered with? Uh, it's filtered. Okay, so you guys want to know how my wife is doing this? Well, who, who thought of this though? I don't know what she. It did. was me. I didn't know that because I'm not part of doing this. Yeah. So if you guys don't know the filter, if you guys, because everyone needs to be safe. Uh, I know people here are from all over the nation. We're fi we're finding that out now as we do these Zoom calls and these webinars. Uh, appreciate this. One. As we're doing these Zoom, these Zoom calls and these webinars, that we're finding out people from Florida, Seattle, California, Hawaii, Hawaii Canada. So everyone who's, who's uh, coming into the association, myself, Charles, and everyone at HPHS, we are greatly appreciated by you guys uh, inviting members to this thing. But for you guys who don't know, who are in San Antonio, uh, in Bear County, they are now making these as required, required, right? It's required when you go somewhere in public. I don't know if that's how it is with the rest of the nation. But if you're going somewhere in public, you have to wear some type of mask on your face. I just thought about this. What did you think about this? Michael Jackson was really ahead of his time. You know that, guys? You remember Michael Jackson, who was ahead of his time with the music, but he used to wear one of these. He used to wear a face mask all the time. Because he... He was ahead of his time. Because he was the king of pop, man. He, just, he was the king of pop. Man. Put your mask on, man. So I'm going to tell you guys. So you guys don't know these masks. Um, we're not selling these masks, guys. It just happened to be uh, this required to Burke County. My wife's actually making them. She's making them through some type of fabric, and on the inside is a filter because you can't. You're not supposed to be just wearing anything. I think people. I see people. Yeah. They're having a shirt. They're having a handkerchief. 
a regular cloth, from my understanding, from what I've seen, doesn't protect uh, a virus or whatever to go through. Now inside you have these filters, you can see it's white. That white filter, guys, is actually from um, a, a micro, a micro a, a fiber yeah. HVAC H filter that you put in your home. Yeah, so we bought the filters, the ones, the real nice ones, the real expensive ones. Yeah, not the cheap uh, ones. And yeah, not the cheap ones. And what she does, she, she cuts them up and uh, she puts them in here. We get refillables too, so. So supposedly they're good for about three months. Uh, she's also telling people to uh, iron it. Supposedly heat kills this uh, coronavirus. So maybe every night or every three, every week or so, you can iron it if that's, you know, going further and beyond. But yeah, so let me, let me put it on so we can see how we're rocking this, man. Man, you look like Sub Zero, man. You look like Scorpion. Are they a Scorpion? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because I'm cold and you're, you're fired. I'm cold and you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, coincidentally, we're talking about closing deals without talking to sellers, and it's funny that we had this mask over our face um, because that's the topic for today. The topic for today. Oh, one more thing too. It's pretty cool because it has that. Uh, yeah, that it has a little, the little. Uh, a little metal right here. So she puts a little metal right here so you could just, you know, contour it to your nose. It's pretty cool, man. It's pretty comfortable too. Dude. It is pretty comfortable. Let's do it. Let's do it. If you guys don't know when we do this YouTube stuff, we actually take a, a screenshot throughout the scene and that's the uh, thumbnail we use. So let's do a quick little. Oh, I like, I like doing this one here. Go ahead. Can I do this? Right. So I'll use that screenshot. That'll be the thumbnail for this video. I don't know. I can't talk with this thing. Man. You know your wife's going to get mad at you, man. At least you have it so you won't give it to me. Uh, so you keep yours on. Uh, so with that being said, let's go back to business. Let's talk about real estate investing. We appreciate everyone on here. Um, let's see who's on here so far. Let's give shout outs. I'd love to give shout outs to everyone who's watching. Uh, Chris Sandoval's on here. What's up, Chris? Uh, yeah. I haven't spoken to you in a while, man. Give Charles a call. Give myself a call so we can do a deal. Alexander's on here. Arado's on here. So Arado, I think he's here in San, he is here in San Antonio. Arado's saying it is a thousand dollar fine. I don't know if that's true. Is that true? I think it I is. Five hundred. Right? Five hundred or some type of fine for you guys who are not in Bear County. Just, I mean, Bear County doesn't play around. But at the same time, I think I hear Texas is going to be the first state to to come, to come uh, open back to business. So. Although I did go, I went to Walmart two days ago, and before I went inside, the lady asked me, "Where's your mask?" I went to Target yesterday, and I had this on, yeah. and it was weird just to see everyone have to have a mask on, and it just that's why I'm saying that Michael different. Jackson was ahead of his time. I heard you the first time. All right, back to uh, back to real estate, man. Uh, so, how to close a deal, Charles? If I tell you, how do you close a deal without talking to seller? What's the first thing you think of? SMS. 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 That's one of the first things we think of. Now, Charles and I, along with the people here in our office that we love and support, uh, we have closed deals without ever speaking to the seller. Uh, now, when we're saying speaking, that's that's the uh, name of the podcast. Uh, but it is smart for SMS, and that's where we want to chit chat about. Uh, I'm guessing we'll see. No. Oh, this is your. Yes, we'll see. I know you like to talk a lot, man. That's coming around. Did you see that in that webinar we did? When I said that, you like to talk a lot, and we'll start laughing. It's a good thing, man. It's a good thing. Uh, I don't talk as much as Charles does, um, except for when we do these podcasts. But I share more than you do. No, we share the same value. We just say a whole lot longer than I do. If I say two plus two is four. You say two plus two, so you got two and two guys, and you got this two, and if you count them, it's two different ways to skin a cat. It's the same value, guys. So don't, don't get it <laughs> twisted. Uh, so let's talk about it, man. Let's, let's go. You can take yeah. it. SMS. What do you? How long have we been using SMS again? Oh uh, man, so we converted to uh, these new platforms. Let me take this off. Man. Told you. We converted to these new platforms. Um, should be told about a year and a half ago, and uh, so we're doing stuff the old school way. But we're really lucky, really fortunate that we did uh, transfer, you know, change over because now that we got hit with this Corona thing, I mean, all our people were on Zoom, we're, we're on uh, 365, Marketo 365, we're constantly, there's a lot of communication. Um, it is very different than it was when the, cr when the crash happened. Uh, I know we've talked about that before, mm -hmm. where people were out of communication, you know, and, and, and you didn't know who to talk to. Now everybody's talking to each other, which is really awesome. But what's happening now and what we're noticing is that, for example, Zoom calls, FaceTime, SMS, you know, all these different type of platforms are becoming commonplace. People are, people, people are getting used to accepting these calls. And so we've been using a, a platform, a Smarter Contact, 
and it's it's a fabulous pro, uh, fabulous software that we use. Our one of our guys here, Alejandro, he uh, he pretty much runs it. And so, for those of you who are not familiar with Smarter Contact, you know you're able to send out you're able to send out thousands of texts at one time uh, to individuals that we identify that for one reason or another may be interested in selling a property. So when they get this text, and just so you'll know, uh, the chances of somebody opening up an SMS message are, are astronomically higher than them opening up an email, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. or, or, or even a voicemail. So if you compare SMS to voicemails and emails, I mean, we're talking mm -hmm. about we're talking about apples and pears and apples and, and, and oranges. It's, it's just greatly different. So we use this platform. Our, our guy, Alejandro, uh, has pretty he much... Wants teddy, he wants to go by Teddy, man. He wants to go by Teddy? I think he wants to go by Teddy. No. Teddy? Te Teddy te the texter? Texting Teddy. Texting Teddy or Teddy the texter? Whichever he prefers. Okay, Teddy. Teddy the... Texting Teddy, man. So he, he uh, he's pretty much... <laughs> texting Teddy, man. <laughs> So he pretty much has mastered this, this software, which is exactly what we asked him to do when we first got on it. So I want you to master this thing, and uh, and we really want to uh, we really want to you know make it part of our, our platform. And so he has. And so for ex the reason we wanted to do this podcast today about that is to talk to you guys how we go about finding uh, you know in, uh, interested interested uh, uh, sellers, but also interested buyers. So we're going to talk about that also. And just as a, as a bonus, tomorrow at 1 o'clock, tomorrow at 1 o'clock, you can find this on our Home Item Selling Association page, on my personal profile page. But he and the owner of Smarter Contact, which is Adam, Adam is here, they're going to do a free training at 1 o'clock tomorrow on a Zoom. And I believe you have the Zoom, the Zoom Frank. Yeah, okay. Frank's going to post it. That's going to be a free training, man, on how to use... The smarter contact SMS software and how to reach people. And look, you don't just have to use this for uh, for real estate, man. You can use it for, for for really anything you're targeting. You know what I'm saying? So buyers. I mean, you can do it for buyers too. It doesn't have to be. Uh, yeah. Hey, do you want to sell your house on one two three Main Street? So you recently did. You recently sent out uh, SMS blast to like three thousand buyers, right? Mm -hmm. We're talking about real buyers that we identified. And how we got that, guys? You can contact us later. We'll talk to you about that on a PM. But how was it turn out? So it was a good turnout. So to break it down for someone who had never heard of SMS, uh, you know, I always like to break it down uh, real small and then we'll work our way up. SMS stands for? Oh, yeah, man. What does it stand for, man? It stands for text messaging, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, subject, multimedia, no, send multimedia subject, SMS. Send multimedia subject. That's Texting, what, uh, man. You're going to text, text yeah, man. You're texting the person. So when someone says SMS, the platform we use here, like Charles said, is uh, Smarter Context. Smarter Context is a great platform. It keeps things organized. Uh, Charles, you work the Charles works more of the acquisitions, and I do more of the dispositions. When you're pulling a list together, whatever random list, high equity, whatever the case may be, what does something like the text say? What does it? What does it? What does it usually say? Now I know I like SMS because when someone calls me, co callers, when someone calls me and I don't know the number. Nine times out of ten, I really don't pick it up until if they do a voicemail. If they call again, maybe this is a tip for cold callers. If they call me again and it's twice in a row, I'll probably pick it up. So that's just me kind of thinking outside the box. Um, I like to see who's calling. If it's something important, they'll leave a voicemail. If not, they'll shoot me a text. But every single text message I get, I will read it. So, so there's different techniques they can use. you got to remember you're dealing with people who are going through stuff. And sometimes they don't want to talk to you. So, for example... You know, and this also goes with cold calling. You mm -hmm. have to, Manny was talking about that today on Antoine's uh, podcast, that within the first six seconds, man, the first five to six seconds, you got to get out what you're trying to get out quickly so you can so you can continue to talk to them. Otherwise, they're just going to hang up on you. And I actually, I do that a lot, actually, to a lot of people that uh, call me from India and Pakistan because they're trying to sell me stuff and I'm really busy. So usually what we like to do is with the message, when the message goes out, it's, you know, hello, Alicia. I'm contacting you about your property at 123 Main Street. I'd love to make you a cash offer if interested. So, kind of an open ended question, but what it's going to do, it's going to get that person to respond either I'm not interested or I am interested. You see, or, or how did you get my number? So then that goes into another phase. So, for example, if I'm interested, then that's where the conversation starts, you know. And, 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 uh, 
and you can continue with the SMS. Some people actually like that. We've actually done some deals, just pure SMS deals. But then at some point, what we usually do is we get them on a call, you know, and, and so, and so, so there's usually a few messages that's, that, that's going back and forth. Um, but the first, the first message that goes out, whether it's, whether it's on SMS or for example, cold calling, which we're not talking about right now, has to be right to the point. And it has to be inviting. So it, it would be it would be along the lines of, "Hello, Alicia, I'm I'm, I'm uh, contacting you about your property at 123 Main Street. I'd love to make you a cash offer. Uh, would you be interested?" And and that usually gets people to respond. Now I'll tell you something. A little trick, guys. Here's a little trick. Where's that little thing you used to have? I don't know. When you gave out too much value, I think it broke. Well, that's that's a nice that's a nice thing for you to say, Mike. I said we don't get it twisted. Oh, <laughs> so so. Here's the deal, guys. This is a, this is a good, good, a good little nugget for you right now. Huh? We, Frank just reduced the batteries, man. So this is a good nugget for you guys. And if you think this is value, give me a little some little love there. So the good. If you guys think it's value, after he says this, put a thumbs up so I can see you guys that he he said it. Go ahead. Okay. So we usually do cold calling and SMS at the same time. So for example. If we know that Manny's team has already run through the SMS, something that, that I do actually on my own texting is we'll say something like, hey, Alicia, uh, we spoke last week about your property at 123 Main Street. I was just checking in with you to see if you'd like to receive a cash offer. What's gonna happen is two things. That person is gonna be like, yeah, they call me or maybe share a voice message and now you're able to engage her about something, you know, about, hey, we, we we, we spoke last week or what's going to happen is instead of because when we're pulling up the information you can just say something instead of saying hey Alicia you can say you could type in a different name and say hey John you know I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that you accepted my offer of my cash offer for X money whatever the dollar amount is how can we get started you know and, and I'm really happy to purchase your property so I'm, I know I'm kind of all over the board there, but what I'm trying to say is, so I'm trying to contact, I'm trying to contact Michael here, and Michael has has maybe not responded to me, or he told me to, you know, he wasn't interested. But then what I do is I say, I said instead of saying Michael a message, I'm gonna say, hey John, I'm really glad you accepted my cash offer on this property that you have. Um, we're looking to we're looking to rehab the property, and and we'd love to get started immediately. You know, how can we get started so we can get your money to you? So now Michael's going to read that message, right? But I'm actually targeting Michael. Michael's going to read that message. He's going to be like, hey, man, somebody's getting cash off on a property. And he's going to know he got what? Property. He got the cash offer. But guess who the message came from? It still came from us. So Michael's going to think like, man, those were the guys that were contacting me. Mm -hmm. You see? Those were the guys that were contacting me and now they're sending me a message, which probably the message was supposed to go to somebody else, right? And they're making a cash offer, which we do. So what's, what's gonna happen? Michael's usually gonna be like, damn, that guy got a cash offer. Let me think about this. Maybe I get a cash offer. You like that? I do like that, sir. Uh, Can we get some thumbs up there or what? Yeah, let's get some thumbs up for him, guys. Uh, so this is not scripted, right? All these podcasts that we do, uh, if you guys don't know, if you guys think it's scripted, it's not. We just chit chat, and we just kind of share our experience on what we've done. If we haven't done it, we'll tell you, hey, we haven't done it. Uh, but what I say that to say this, and I forgot to tell you this, Charles. I got two uh, SMS messages recently. Uh, one of them I want to pick your brain about. See, because I'm picking his brain, it's probably gonna, it's a critical thinking one. Uh, if I say something like that, guys. Uh, so not scripted. One of them was. You gonna put me on the spot? Kind of, sort of. But to our defense, I told you, if we don't do this, we, we'll tell you, hey, we don't do this. And, uh, so but I do want to pick his brain on that. One of them was I got a text message the other day. It was from a house that Charles and I flipped. Um, so their, their data was old. Their data was old because we, we flipped it, we sold it, it was already out of our name. But I received them SMS on, hey, do you want to sell your house on 123 Main Street? A house that we already flipped. It was, um, it was Sutton. Okay. Yeah, so the house already sold. What are your thoughts on that? Bad data? old list for you guys while Charles answered that question there's two questions that was the easy one uh, for you guys who are watching if you guys are using SMS or some type of flat platform to close deals using text messaging put on the comments hustle or I do I want to know who's using it 
And if you ever close a deal using SMS, and, please comment something on it. And guys, if you end up using, if you end up wanting to use Smarter Contact, straight up, man, we have a promo code for you. Hey, we use it. We've been using it. We've, we've, we tried many other platforms. Trust me, this one's the bomb. Can you put that in there, Frank? So what's the second question? So Ray said, well, you gotta answer the first one. Ray said, the glasses came off. So he's about to get some serious here, man. Yeah. So the first question is, again, SMS, a, a platform that we use on a daily basis. One hit of a finger, hit enter, it goes to these thousand people. Hey, blank, which is seller's name. Do you want to sell your house on blank, one, two, three, Main Street? And it just merges itself, right? Yeah. So if I'm getting an SMS on a house that we sold two months ago, what was that wholesaler doing that you shouldn't be doing? Mind you, we already sold the house. I got the house. Mike, do you want to sell your house on Sunday? Yeah. We sold it already. It's not yeah. in our house anymore. Yeah. Why did he do that? What, what is he doing wrong that I'm getting the SMS on something we already sold? He's getting the data from the wrong place, man. He's not getting he's not getting updated data. That's what it's, that's the problem, man. Well, we can go into data. We're talking about SMS today, but you know if you're getting you know you're getting your data, if you're getting data that old, because that property's what been about a year and a half. Uh, yeah. Two years, maybe? Yeah, it's, it's old property, so I don't know. Your data, man, came, is, you know, you need to check whoever you're getting your data from, and I hate, I would hate for it to be one of the ones that we use, but, uh, yeah. I, I don't know, I mean, I just received a text, and I just want to yeah. share with you guys how important data is, because yeah. if I'm getting it, I mean, who else is he sending this list to, and is that wholesaler, is his money, is his time, yeah. is his effort, he may get frustrated because he's not closing deals. Now, me personally, I probably, I think I did respond, and he never responded back. Um, so that's another thing. I actually responded to the guy. I think I told him simple basic because me being who I am here in San Antonio, I wanted to know who's on the other line. So I responded back, who is this? And I never got a text back. So thoughts on that? Man, first of all, first of all, he should be using smarter content. I'm just messing with you guys, but yeah, it's true. <laughs> what I'm saying is this, man. First of all, the data he got, man, is old because that property was two years ago, man, and that property actually, guys, was one that we took down to the sticks, man. We did a lot of work. We put about eighty thousand dollars to that property. Man. Practically a brand new house. Yeah, practically a brand new house. Funny right? story, Maddie's on here. Real quick, guys, this is a personal story. Remember that house that we well, can we flip something, right? We walk out the front door. Remember that house that's Ken Corner? Mm -hmm. That came into the boardroom. Really? That guy wants to cash off. Well, there it is. So, the data, man. I mean, anytime you're using software, man, or any type, any type of software you're using, we gotta make sure that 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 uh, that is working, man. That that means you know SMS platform. Uh, uh, it might cost, for example, a lot of people will go cheap, man. They'll use they'll use they'll use some cheaper stuff, and and, and that's cool. But man, you get what you pay for. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and for example, some of the tools that we use, which you can go on, you can go on our website. It's called TurnUpTheHustle.com. You can see the, the systems we use. You know, you have to make sure you're getting the correct information. Now, I'll, I'll name some of them off. For example, Smart Contact. We use uh, we use Propelio. Uh, that, that has a wealth of information on it. I mean, you can use so much stuff with Propelio. I mean, from from uh, from uh, driving for dollars to multi listings to high equity to lists. Uh, it has its own CRM, so it's a lot of stuff. To the academy in general. If, well, the academy, that's the other thing, you know, I was gonna leave that for last, but, but since you brought it up, there, there's an academy on there that you can go in there, pretty much dive into it, and learn from some real people who are doing real stuff. These are real people who have been vetted. I'm not saying anybody on YouTube is not, because we're on YouTube also, but these are real people who have been vetted, and, and, that, and they're, on the, they're on the academy. They're on the academy for a reason, because they do what they say they do. Um, of course, we use call tools. That's a calling system. That's 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 a really powerful system we use. Of course, that's a smart contact. We just uh, signed up with REI Shift. 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 Or Shift. 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 Yeah, and uh, Tyler, who runs that company, man, has just has created an awesome, awesome system. We used to use a different system, but uh, and that system was great too. But uh, we've developed a really good relationship with uh, with uh, Tyler. And so we like that. We like to create relationships. You know, with, we're using a platform. We like to create a relationship with with whoever is running the show, because if I have a problem, I want to be able to call that person. And say, hey, man, I'm having a problem, and not call, not call into a chat, you know, or something like a that. A bot or something. Yeah. A bot or something. You or know? So, so that's another thing we're going to be talking about on another podcast, man. 
uh, REI shift or we just honestly we just launched it and we're actually uh, doing the build out right now so we're expecting big things from that and we're going to use that in, in conjunction in conjunction with SM, with, with smarter contact call tools we use prop stream that's another software that we use and so you know, we feel really comfortable where we get the data from you know we get data from uh, from a uh, rowdy foreclosure although we don't know anybody over there but they got some pretty good data and uh, of course we get it from Propelio and PropStream and, and once in a while we'll go on to list source. We're not a big a big list source type of company, man. But we will go in there and we'll get some data from them. But yeah, it's the data, man. And then and then the, the other thing is him not res responding to your to your uh, to your text, mm -hmm. that's either the software he's using or he, he's he hasn't he hasn't fixed, he hasn't adjusted it to get those text messages. Like for us we use we use uh, you know car rail. To get to, when we're targeting different things, we use call rail. To, if we're going to target, like for example, we're using callbacks on, on call tools or SMS callbacks or textbacks. We're using uh, uh, you know for banner signs for a different type of marketing. You want to be able to track where the information is coming from. Right. So so back to SMSing. To answer your question, in my opinion, um, he either he's either missing something. He didn't he didn't set it up correctly or. It's, not only the data he's getting, but also the system he's using. All right, guys. So, uh, Molin here says he's still trying to figure it out, which is SMS. Uh, so, we're going to segue. Should I, ask you my, should I ask you my question now and then I come back to it? No, no go to answer spot? his question first. No, I will say do my second question. Let me right. tell it to you so you can think about it. Am I going to be like a deer in the headlights? No, I mean, because I got two theories. Well, me, because well, that first, question's hard for me. First of all, brother, look, man, it starts off with this, man. Whenever you're, whenever you're on these, on these podcasts or on these webinars, if I was just starting out, because I've been doing this a long time, so is Mike. If I was just starting out, man, and this, this is, and you heard us say that we just switched over about a year, to, a year and a half ago to softwares and stuff, but th th that applies to anything you do. Whenever we're doing, whenever we're trying to figure out the best way to do sub twos and figure out all the pits and falls and all the benefits and anything that we do. What you have to do, man, is you have to make sure the people who are talking about it are actually doing it and have done it, you know, and, and, and are constantly doing it. Because, you know, I'm not I'm not downing anybody, but what I'm saying is, you know, 10 years ago, somebody was hitting it out of the ballpark, and now they're talking about that same stuff today. Things have changed, man. The laws have changed. Mm -hmm. The systems have changed. Everything's changed. So to answer your question, brother, it starts off, man, by yes... You know, uh, uh, listening to different podcasts, webinars, Googling those people, figuring out if they're real or not, and, and see what type of deals they're doing, maybe calling those people up. You know, we try to talk to as many people as, that will call us from all over. You want to make sure the people you're dealing with, man, are actually giving you the right information. And it starts with this. You can start tomorrow. Um, yeah, let me bring it up. Let me bring up that little ad. Yeah, it starts tomorrow at uh, 1 o'clock with Adam and, and uh, Teddy the Texter. They're gonna do a free training on SMS as uh, on S, a smart contact, and uh, and I think we're gonna be doing those. We're gonna be doing those at least twice a month, man. We're gonna be doing trainings with Adam twice a month, and that's to level you guys up. Like we don't have to do this, guys. We don't have to do it, but we want to do it because we're in a good position to do it. We've already experienced a lot of the hiccups. We want to share with you guys what that does for you guys and what it does for us, honestly. Let's face it, man. If we're sharing value with you guys, and some of you guys call us, and now we're doing, maybe we're showing you how to do a deal, or we're doing a deal with you, that's value brought back to us. So we're doing an exchange of value, man. And that's why we're happy to do it. So with, it, uh, with that being said, guys, uh, Molin, like you said, you're still learning it. We here at HPHS, we do SMS. We send uh, by a hit of a button. It goes to people's cell phones. Um, it's already merged with their information. Hey, John, interested in selling your house on 123 Main Street. If you guys haven't heard that, or you guys haven't seen it, or Molin, if you want to learn more about it, on your screen, smartphone, computer, tablet, whatever you're looking at, is Smarter Contacts. It's a webinar tomorrow with Ted. Uh, Ted is the individual who works here, who is the SMS genius for us. He's the one that does all the SMS. He categorizes it. Uh, he sends his VAs. We're, gonna, we're, yeah. we're actually launching VAs. So he has, he's getting his own VAs to do whatever he's because he's blasting out so much. Uh, because that's what he does, uh, Adam with Smart Contacts, uh, they're going to host a webinar every two weeks. Tomorrow will be the very first one. Right. On the pinned comment, on the pinned comment, you will see 
uh, the link to it. The link to it, so that's how you guys will see. So if you guys, it's free, it's totally free. We will put a, remi a reminder out tomorrow uh, for the Zoom link. So you guys can log on. Charles and I would be appreciated if you guys logged on just to kind of see what something that you didn't know because they're going to go over the whole thing. Um, and it'll be a lot of a lot, a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, right? Yeah, can you, can you post your picture? Uh, so you can't post a picture when we go going yeah. on. You can't post a picture in the comments. You can't post a picture, yeah, can't post a picture in the comments. Uh, but it is a pinned comment, guys. So again, we will blast it tomorrow on the association so you guys can uh, can do that. Uh, our boy Alex says that he has closed many deals using SMS. Uh, and where do we get our data from? That's what he's asking. You want to share that? or? Yeah, man. Is that his other podcast? So we get our data from different... Let me just, just touch base on that. So let's start with the city here. Or any city, rather, that we're targeting. So we do a lot of... We get, uh, we get uh, the tax delinquent does. You know, so that's... We're, that's big, man. So any city that we're doing, uh, usually that information comes it comes uh, coded. So we have to get it. You know, we have to get it uh, decoded. We target code code violations. You can get that from any city for free. Um, of course, the vacant property list. But we also we also get our, our we we get our data from PropStream, from Propelio, from Rowdy. We get our sometimes from the list source. But we also do specialized lists like the water list. We also do the inmate list. That's a way to do it. We, we target a lot of inmates and stuff. You, know, you didn't want me to say it before, you right? You it at all, man. Yeah. I was about to, as soon as I took uh, that drink, I was like, man, he's like... <laughs> you know, but we, we get our list from different places, man, and, and we target different stuff. There's other lists. We use, we use all type of lists. But, uh, uh, well, that, you know, that, that leads me to um, REI SIF, man. Mm -hmm. that, that reason we, we, we actually signed up with them um, is because we have so much data that we have to... You know, we, I believe that we've been we've been ordering a, a lot of the same data. You know what I'm saying? Right. Which makes sense. Which a lot of people could be doing the same thing. Yeah. So REI, you guys need to look that up. Frank, can you uh, put that in there? And then and then uh, and also, um, can you tag Tyler? So we're gonna tag Tyler on on the on the, the comments. on the comments. Tag his company and can you put a comment in there, brother? We just signed up with him, man. And we are working to uh, really put all our lists in there. And, and I've, I've gone through all his webinars. I've gone through his stuff. It's a fabulous system. We're going to take advantage of it. And we're going to close a lot more deals also using Smarter Contact. And do you mind tagging this, uh, Adam, please? And uh, these guys are fabulous guys, man. They build awesome systems. And, and you guys, you take advantage of them just like we are. So what's your question, man? Let me get to that. Let me get to that. I, I want to bring the, the suspense. You know I know a lot, right? I know you know a lot. Hold on, wait, wait, let's you get... You know I know no, a lot. No, no, no. Wait a minute. If wait I'm a, saying it's a, a tough minute. question, it's a tough question. Okay, first of all, you know I know a lot. And I know you know I and know And I share a lot. And I share a lot. Well, let me give you a compliment. I know you know a lot. Okay. And together we know more. <laughs> Two heads make better, right? Uh, Jocelyn's on here, says she loves Propelio. Um, that's, of course, one of the things that we use as well for Propelio. Uh, we are big... Advocates and very very fond of Propelio and the Academy. Uh, so guys make sure you check that out uh, Edgar here has a question. Uh, what was the one for foreclosures? What do you what list do you use or what uh, system do you use for foreclosures? Well, we definitely use uh, Propelio for one. Um, we also use Rowdy um, those So those Rowdy, I think it's Rowdy. Rowdy? Is that nationwide or is this it's just it's Texas? Texas yeah. So Texas is there's a company called Rowdy. R-O-D-D-Y. Rowdy and uh, Rowdy foreclosures. Rowdy foreclosures. Yeah. yeah. So we use both systems. I mean, I like, I like to pull lists from uh, from Propelio. I mean, the one the one badass, well, a lot of badass things about it. But Propelio also offers this the uh, substituted trustee re uh, removal list. That's big, man. And that should be one of these, right? Yeah, I like. I would like. To, man, it just takes so long. It to does explain. take so long. Yeah, and I got but, that question. But but but, but uh, but I think we need to do a podcast on that very very soon and how we use those lists to get deals. So. If you guys want to hear, we should have like a, this button that gives us the daily value, but then we should have like a big button. What he's talking about is a big button. Say that one more time. A huge button, man. It's a huge button. Yeah. Say, say what it is, not just a the, little bit. The substitute trustee removal list. And we make money on that list? Yes, we do. If you guys want to know how we make money on that list, let me see a bunch of thumbs up. Let me see some comments that say hustle. Frank, can you post Propelio? Um, not only the academy, but also the the, the the software, and tag Daniel. That way, people know who Daniel is, and let him know that we're that we're letting these people know what we use, and show some love on there. And guys, these guys right here that own these these companies, man, 
they're real guys that you can contact. So that's why we're, we're, we're that's why we're tagging them. They're real people, man, and, and and they're not above taking a call. So just FYI, Charles and I are real fond of sharing information and sharing uh, products that we know works that makes sense. We actually use it. And so Charles is telling everyone to get tags because it's who we use. Um, so the back to that big button. This is a little button. What he's talking about is a big button. And if I had that big button, we should look into it. If I had a big button, what is it called again? It's substitute. the Substitute Trusty Removal List. And if you guys want to hear about it in a future podcast, put in the comments hustle, and we'll definitely put that on one of our ones. And I already see a bunch of hustles turning So I, I tell you what, man. That is what you call pre-pre-pre-foreclosure. So there's one thing to get. There's one thing to get the foreclosure list. I was waiting for the hustle comments, man. Can't be talking about it already. That's the big, big list. You know, I like to share. He likes to talk a lot, man. Uh, Elizabeth is on you here. You got it mixed up, man. I don't like to talk a lot. I like to share a lot. With a lot of talking. Elizabeth is on here. Mike's on here. Appreciate you guys uh, logging on. Uh, somebody had a question. Raul. Raul said, nobody answers my question. Question mark hustle. Uh, Raul, Charles will personally get with you. What was the question, man? That's how he said, so I don't know. I'm just thinking maybe he called you. Well, Raul, 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 you, you got to come, man. You got you to gotta show up, brother. He's I mean, in Corona. Corona, you look. Order one of these masks right here, and and we can meet, man. How much is Crystal selling these for? Ten bucks. I don't know, man. It's, it's you interested? My in daughter's selling these things for ten bucks, man. <laughs> with three refills. Three refills. All right. So here's the question, Evan. Now we got people watching. Now I have a question. Again, it's not scripted. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask the question to Charles. So guys, when we argue, we're really arguing. I mean, this is not scripted, man. This guy gets sometimes, man. Nine years, guys. Ugh. Is it nine years or something right there? It's been like twenty. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna ask him a question again. Not scripted. It is a tough question. I have a theory of what the answer is, um, and let's just see. All right. So my first question, which he already answered, uh, Charles and I did a flip, and I got a text message. Hey, do you want to sell your house? I went to the Main Street. Charles and I already purchased it. We already rehabbed it. We listed it. We sold it, and we're talking about months later. I think a year later even, that I got that text. It's been, it's been more than a year, yeah. man. But I got a wall back, so that's what I'm saying. About a year and a half. The second question what I want to ask him. Now, it's a tough question, so it, no, no deer in the headlights. We're just, we're just talking here. Remember, we don't do it. We'll say we don't do it. I got a, I got a second text message. I forgot to tell you about this. I got it about a month ago. Um, and the text was, hey, Mike, do you want to sell your house on 123 Main Street? Now, the house on 123 Main Street... That's my personal house, the one I actually live in. And why is that a tough question? Why is that a tough question? Why is Mike asking, hey, Mike lives on 123 Main Street, and I got a text from saying, hey, Mike, are you interested in selling your house on 123 Main Street? The reason it's a tough question is because my personal house is a sub two. And when I purchase in a sub two, I actually put it in a trust. And if you guys don't know this, trusts aren't recorded. Trusts are not recorded, mm. right? See where I'm getting it? So that's why it's a question. Some, somebody's doing their homework. Someone's right? doing their homework, right? So somebody doing their homework. The deed, I'm not going to tell you my address, but the deed is 123 Main Street. The seller's name is John Smith. John Smith deeds it to 123 Main Street Land Trust. I am the trustee of 123 Main Street Land Trust. I'm also, along with my wife, are the beneficiaries of 123 Main Street Land Trust. What does get recorded is the deed. Now, if you guys think you know the answer, by all means, I, I would like to see some. I know the answer, man. Hold on, hold on, cowboy. If you guys know the, if you guys think you know the answer, put it on there. I want to see who. You know, I know how to look up trust, man. I want to see who's on it. Now, mind you guys, trusts are not recorded. The only thing recorded is a deed from John Smith, the original seller, to 123 Main Street Land Trust. The address of the land trust is also the property it's at. You know, I know how to look up trust, right? Okay, so that being said. You want to answer or you want to tell me my I'm theories? Gonna tell you, I'm going to tell you what it was. You. What it was? Okay. Go ahead. I like your house, man. <laughs> <laughs> I do, man. I like your house, man. I said you're texting. I was like, oh, see this guy with some of your house, man. So that's funny, right? Because it's, it's a tough answer. Let me tell you, Charles. Let me tell you my theory. Before you say that, let me just and tell I you. I think you will agree with my theory. Well, let me tell Go you ahead. something first, guys. We look up trust. It's tedious, but it can be done. Takes a little bit of work. So whoever sent you that text, they did their homework. But I don't know how. 
How do they look at what trust that's not recorded? Well, that's a different podcast. So dude. that's a different podcast. Now here's my that theory. that right there that right there guys that we're talking takes, about takes some takes some serious learning. I mean, not everybody knows how to do that. Now, so, what's more intriguing? I can't just give that away. I responded. I responded back to them. They didn't respond to me. Again, I responded to them because I want to know how they got yeah. my information. Uh, I actually called the number two, and they didn't have a call twice because that was a real, that was a really good text that I received. Um, and if I'm calling them back, it's because, not one, because I want to sell my house, but two, who they are, how they did it. Can I drop a subject? Can I drop? Can I drop? I want to say my theory. Can, man. can I drop a little hint as to how they can look up trust? Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, you know what? I can't do it, man. That should be. I'm gonna do it, man. Big I'm gonna do it. I'll give you one hint, but I gotta see some love, man. If I don't see no love, I can't. See, I give out too much stuff. You tell me, man. Yeah. We, we, need the, we, need the theory, man? we need the hustle comments. We need the hustle comments. Yeah, three theories. <laughs> three theories. Go ahead, man. I got a few. One of them was someone knew I bought that house, who was an investor in San Antonio, and sent me that text. For example, Charles. Now I'm not saying it was Charles, but for example, Charles knows my house and he sent me a text. I know who it was. Someone is playing a joke on me. Yeah. So one, someone in San Antonio knows my house, and hey, It'd be cool if I sent Mike a text because it's very difficult. And they said it in the text message, "Hey Michael, there's nowhere in the trust." Why didn't you give me the number? I'll tell you it was a while back, and I forget. You guys know that we have access to look up phone numbers. So uh, well, it's probably a everything call to a number. Call okay. Number. Um, so that was the first thing. That's the first theory. The second theory is they had old data. They sent the text to the original homeowner. Homeowner receives the text. Hey John, you want to sell your house on one two three Main Street? Hey man, I sold that house to Mike. It's not my house no more, or it's not my house no more. I sold it. The investors probably like, well, I see it went to a trust, and they'll probably respond to They probably had a conversation with the original seller, and oh, I sold it to this guy named Mike, and here's his number. Because of course we communicate because it's a sub two two. That's my second one. And to be honest with you, man, my mind just went blank for the third one because I had a third theory. Should I tell you people how to pick up trust, man? If they come and hustle. If they come and hustle, let me see what people's thoughts were. Uh, if they come and hustle, guys, we'll definitely, Charles will give you a, a rule. Not a big button, but a little one, uh, but that should be its own its own deal. Uh, so Arado's on here. Arado does quite a few sub-two deals. Uh, and he says, I found a beneficiary of trust. I some two ways, tax mill and address then find owner of that address. What so, do you say? I, word for word, what Arado's saying, this gentleman who spoke to earlier uh, a couple days ago, sub-two deals. He says, I found the beneficiary of trust, i.e., some two ways, tax mailing address, then find owner of that address. Uh, so, Arado, maybe you want to say that one more time, uh, just we're on the same page. But what, what I read in that comment is he found the beneficiary of the trust. Now, the thing is, that's a complicated comment because how do you find the beneficiary of the trust if the trust is not recorded? The only person who has the trust, now, this is my personal house. And Charles and I are partners. Charles doesn't even have the trust. The only people who have the trust is myself, the seller, and the attorney who helped us close this deal. You're mistaken, though. I do have the trust. <laughs> those three those three people. Unless Charles broke into my office. But those three people. So, Arado, I'm curious to see how you find a beneficiary of trust. Uh, Jose says, what if he initially talked to the original? Okay, that's what he said. Yeah. So, that's what he's saying. That was one of my theories that Jose said. What if he talked to the original owner and original said, oh yeah, I sold it to this investor named Mike and then maybe the investor knew who I was and played a joke on me. Well, that's one way to, uh, that's one way to look up, you know, look that stuff up. So another, so another hustle, another hustle. What was that thing you were telling me? Oh, about well, the trust. I did. How many hustles came in? Uh, a couple. A couple. Man, I was right. on here again. I need more than a couple hustles. So you gotta... If I'm going to give some serious, some serious tricks away and serious secrets away, honestly, man. You know, I can't do it no more. We need, we need some likes, we need some likes, and we need some hustles in the comments. And we'll give a, a cook trick. Um, so, yeah, guys, so I'm curious if you guys have a thoughts on that, on how some now the, the likes are coming in. Uh, now, the question was if someone subs to a deal and they put into a trust, how does someone get a text message, SMS, using that trust? Now, it is a complicated question, so if you guys have an, a, a theory or whatever the case is, by all means, put it on here. Uh, Rose on here again, uh, our boy Jose. Jose, man, man, Jose, dude, Jose Robles. There's two Jose's on here. Jose Galindo's on here. Uh, Jose Robles, man, is my boy out of Austin, man. He's doing big things. He's doing things in California. He's from Los Angeles. He moved to Austin. He's got, he's, he's working, man. Jose, I see you. Uh, Q's on here, and uh, what's up, Q? 
and Tyler finally is on here. What's up, Hugh? Tyler finally logged in. Hey, so, Tyler. Tyler, uh, you kind of missed the, the front end, but I, I'll let Charles kind of reiterate to everyone who's watching uh, what we got going on while these people are mm -hmm. coming to turn up the hustles. If you guys want a big, see, we got this little buzzer. We should have a golden, but that's what it is. We should have a golden buzzer. So the, the regular hype, those are for your, here's a $100 bill. But the gold buzzer, that's a $1,000 bill, man. Charles wants to give away a gold buzzer value, but I we need to see. I really don't want to give it away, man. If you guys put enough hustles, I'll peer pressure him into doing it. Uh, but Tyler's on here. You want to mention what we're talking about? Yeah, right? you know, I'm glad Tyler's on here, man. We were talking about, you know, we're talking about, of course, smarter contact. That's what we do. We contact people without um, really talking to them, you know, at least initially. Um, that's that's what this podcast is about. But we also segue. That's what you say, right? Segway. Segway. Yeah. Segway into... Uh, and how do we, you know, control the data? How do we stack the data? And we recently just signed up with REI, SIFT, and uh, we're, we're, I'm working to try to load all of this in there. Um, we were talking about you, how helpful you are with everybody and all the podcasts and free webinars that you and, and Adam and Asir from Smarter Contact do. And so we just wanted to share, share a little bit about that with everybody, that those are two platforms that we, one that we've been using and then one that we're gonna start using. And uh, once we get really proficient with it, of course, we're gonna talk about that. But those those two platforms to include, you know, call tools and uh, of course, Propelio and PropStream are some of the main softwares that we use. And so we're new to REI, but I'm hoping that it's gonna be, it's gonna become our backbone uh, to what we do. And I invite everybody, we used to use a different software and kudos to them, no, nothing bad to say about them, but We've seen so much of REI's shift, uh, uh, you know, software and everything he shares and everything everything he does to help people. And I was just like, man, we gotta switch over. You know, we gotta switch over. And so any of you guys out there who are ordering data, ordering a shitload of data, you know, you you have to, if you're not if you can't control that data and figure out, you know, some you know that, that you're not ordering the same data over and over. And not just that, it gets worse. You double down on ordering the same phone numbers over and over. You gotta have a way to stack that information. And so I invite all of you guys to look up, you know, Tyler. Um, his his his. Uh, I think his. Did you put his? his did you put his uh, Facebook in there? You know, he has a group to Kari Ari Sips. And you guys go look at his stuff, man. And, and uh, I guarantee you that that we're gonna do some damage using his software. We're already doing damage using Smart Contact software which is the SMS platform. So and we're actually gonna be growing that into teams here now in the next the next week or so. We're actually we're doing so good with it we're gonna actually start we're gonna actually grow a team like we do on the cold calling side which is which Manny controls. So we're gonna we're gonna invite you guys we're gonna be doing we're gonna be we're gonna be doing bi weekly trainings on SMS but we're gonna invite you guys to to see and learn with us as we build a team around Alejandro Ted. on SMS. Ted. Yeah, well Ted. I call him Alejandro, the name's Ted. We're gonna we're gonna invite you guys to see how we do that and and that way uh, we can all do this together. So we already been using it. We're gonna invite you guys to do that with us. And if and if Tyler uh, is interested, uh, at least maybe once every two weeks, we would invite him and his platform to also so we're just I mean we're admitting we're just we're just gonna we're just barely diving into his platform. But we want to make it the backbone, uh, one of the backbone softwares of our of our company. And it would be great, what did you think, for people to actually see how we mm -hmm. learn that, that, that software, you know, how we grow into it. And, and, so, and Charles and I are not afraid to say, hey, we're just starting this for the first time. Because everyone needs to start somewhere. And, and Charles said it multiple times, when it comes to RAI SIFT, since we're starting, how about you guys who haven't used RAI SIFT, want to start with us to kind of see how oh, if they're doing it that way and you guys try it this way and kind of just kind of video or document our journey right, because look, I know it's going to work. That, that's, that's, it's going to be, it's not if it's not, if it's, not if it's, it's going to work. work. It's already working for other people. And so the same thing with Smarter Contact. So Smarter Contact, we've already been doing it, so we feel comfortable. We always, if we're going to talk on something and we know how to use it, we're going to, we're going to share it. We feel very comfortable. Uh, getting getting on these platforms with uh, on these webinars with Adam and, and and sharing how the system can work so we're definitely going to do that already but if I see Tyler's on here it would be great I'm going to talk to him about it see if he's interested in hey you know what how do we take a company that's already established 
from day one, and let's let's watch the growth. You know, what I'm saying how it's being used, and hopefully he'll be interested in that uh, because we are, and and anybody who's out here listening to us um, are going to be able to not only experience that but maybe grow with us and grow your own team or or if you're a one man show you know do your own thing but definitely have to use these these uh these unique uh, right. sy- systems so again guys the podcast uh this podcast was how to close deals without ever talking to the seller uh charles and i shared a little bit about how we do it with smart contacts what you should see now on your uh phone smart uh smartphone device or whatever you want to call it tablet is smarter contact webinar with ted uh, in that picture you got my boy ted wearing a turn up the hustle shirt because that's what he does. He turns up the hustle when he when it comes to text. Um, right. In the comment section, there's a pinned comment. Whoops. There's a pinned comment in the comment section. That pinned comment is a Zoom for tomorrow is free. Free, free, free on how we're doing deals using SMS, specifically uh, with Smart Contacts. And don't forget that Adam will be on that. Adam's uh, on here now. So Adam, find Adam's, out. Adam's actually the, the owner of Smart Contact. I, he just logged in. He did. So we've been talking about uh, SMS and Smart Contact, the, you know, this entire podcast and a few other softwares that we use. But yeah, man, you guys, I don't know if you heard me earlier, but we're going to be doing, I, I believe, a bi weekly. Bi monthly. Uh, bi monthly? No, bi bi weekly uh, training for all those who want to learn and, and, and want to learn a very unique system, a very powerful system that's going to take you, it's going to take you to a whole other level, man. So close deals, guys, without talking to them because, like I said earlier, I would read every single text message, but I won't answer every single phone call. Uh, let's go back to a couple of questions, Charles. Uh, Ricky Miller, we just received some hustle gear. Shout out to my boy Ricky. Would you recommend putting a property under contract via subject to if there's a balloon note? Right now, the note's at 11% interest rate. Curious have we done this something or have we ran into something like this before? Uh, Charles, go ahead. So I need to know a little bit more information. So what I need to know if you could put in there is for example, how long have they had the property? You know, um, of course, I'd like to know what the, the terms are, what the balance is, is it behind on the loan? Of course, we already know the interest rate. You know, how long has it been in the right balance? And, 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 and uh, cause how long, you know, when does the balloon come due? And what type of loan is this? Because at least I think since 2010, maybe or 11, there is no balloons on, a, at least not in Texas, no balloons right. on, on a traditional loans. There shouldn't be. Yeah. Now, if it's, uh, if it's an owner finance transaction, there's a balloon. That's where it gets a little dicey. And it gets a little dicey because, for example, full disclosure, we wrap properties all the time. But it, but we will not let one of our wrappees wrap it to someone else. Exactly. Or that, sub two. Or sub two. But that would be cause for us to actually call them in and be like, hey, you can't do that. Um, because Which, coincidentally, someone tried to do it this week. Yeah. Well, no, we actually got two people that want to do yeah. that, and we're like, look, and that can't happen because what we need, we need to either reverse, you know, not reverse engineer, but you either need to put the property back, you know, you know, to us, and then we'll get that person qualified and get them into a, uh, get them into a deal. But we won't let anybody do that. So I'm real curious what type of transaction this is. I'm assuming with a balloon, it's most likely owner an owner finance. Now it Especially could be a balloon if it was pre-crash. Yeah. If it was pre-crash, it might be a balloon on a, I'm just assuming here, on a second note, because because before the crash, there was a lot of 80-20s, and the, the mm-hmm. 20s had a balloon of 15 years. We're talking uh, about that time now, right? Oh, eight. Yeah, yeah, we're around that time now. So just let me know, put a little bit of comments in there, let us know a little bit more information. That's something that, I gotta point this out, so I gotta give credit where credit is due. I gotta point this out, guys, because a lot of people will hear it, but they won't really understand what they just heard, if that makes sense. That takes real critical thinking to go deep inside the box that Charles just said. If you guys don't know, pre-crash era, before the 2008 crash, 80-20 loans. That means 80-20, the second note was 20%. That could have that balloon, right? So if the house cost 100 grand, buyer was taking a loan for 80,000 and a second loan for 20,000, but that 20,000 not doing payable till 15 years, 20 years to help that homeowner get that payment on that $80,000 deal versus the $100,000 deal. So that's just something want to give you can, can I give you a little something too go ahead. I'm gonna say something man today I don't know if you guys uh, got, got it uh, saw Manny Cash on the Antoine podcast man and um, I was watching it man and uh, I never take credit for people that 
bring it, man. I mean, we could show you the way. We could lay down the foundation. We could uh, show you a lot of stuff, support you, all that stuff. But but watching Manny Cash today on the on the Antoine show just 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 spit knowledge, man. When we came in here, he was so quiet, and just watching him grow into the person he is, man, makes me so proud. But I want to say something about you. You know, when uh, I, let me let me get my recorder now. When I, when I, Frank, you know. record this, dude. So Mike's actually my son-in-law, man, and and you know we met my daughter, and uh, you know, you know he was in the military at the time, and uh, and he was you you know, we started talking one day, and I was just like, hey man, you're gonna be here for four years. Why don't you make some extra money? You know, long story short, he he jumped into the real estate business with me. We weren't partners yet. But we sat, we sat next to each other for like three years, right? And I had been doing a lot of Small stuff. Office. I don't take credit for anything. Let me just want to make something clear. I knew about mortgages, private financing. Uh, of course, I had done investments. But you know, I was gun shy because I had lost everything uh, in the 2008 crash. But Mike came in. We hit the ground running. His first two, three years, he got not rep, not rep awards, right? Because you were doing like 60, 70 deals uh, a, a year. Um, but while man, I was active duty. but for you guys who are just starting out, man, everybody's sure like. You mentioned that while I was active duty. While you were active duty, yeah, he would go. Man, we were working seven days a week during that time, right? You would get out of the army and then go show houses, and I was doing other stuff. But here's the thing: for all you guys that are just starting out, and and, and I know we we're talking about SMS, SMS, uh, uh, the SMS platform, and you're thinking, man, how do I do that? How do I send people messages? How do I, where do I get the data? You know, how do I stack the data, which is, for example, REI, you know, it seems so complicated. Well, that's why we're doing these trainings, guys. That's why we're going to be, you know, hopefully partnering up with REI to, to bring these trainings to you. With, uh, of course, we're already doing that smarter content. We, we're hoping to bring call tools in and do some training with you guys. Maybe, of course, Propelio and other softwares. Why do we do this for you? Because we want an exchange of value with you guys. The more we grow with you, the more you grow with us. And getting back to Michael... For example, I'm listening to you, man. And most people that they, 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 they were not pre, pre-crashed don't know that stuff. But I, when I listen to Michael and I listen to him talk, I'm like, man, this guy knows a lot of shit. And, and it was so weird because four or five months into us working together back in 2012, I was listening to you and you were like already in the move, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But all that comes from, well, the reason I bring that up, guys, because if you're finding anything that I, we're talking about right now difficult, and you're saying that's too complicated, it's not. It's not complicated. Let me tell you why it's not complicated. Because the people who are doing it, like for example us, the people who are going to be who we're going to be partnering up with to bring you some some uh, you know, and it's all this is free, man. Bring you free webinars or training. Are here to help you, and and so a lot of people will say, well, why why are you guys doing it for free? We're doing it for free because there's an exchange of value, guys. The more people we empower, the more people we empower to to to, to get out there and change their lives, the, the the chances of you guys empowering us with something are also great. You know, not only by connecting with more people, by 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 helping us, for example, grow the home buying home selling association, by networking with different individuals. You know, I can't tell you for the last these last two months when we really started pushing this out. We got people from all over the country we're, we're talking to now about doing deals. When before, it was primarily just Texas and, and San Antonio. So anyways, I want to I say that to you, man. I'm really, uh, I was, I was really, I'm really proud of all my people here. Um, today, I'm just talking about Manny and Michael. But I don't take credit for that, you know, except for the fact that I just laid the, I just opened the door and these guys, these guys just went with it, man. And and uh, so I'm real proud of all our HBHS people, man. So so, anyways, want to say that, okay, and I'm sir. really proud of, of Adam Nasir, really, um, really, you know, taking us in, man, showing us how to use that so that software, always being there, answering all our calls. You know, even, I know we were we we're very frustrated. We we probably got frustrated with us in the very beginning, but. Uh, yeah, especially. Yeah, you guys don't know Adam likes to travel the world, man. But yeah, when we call, yeah. You Let me answer. tell you something. This guy was in Colombia. I mean, he's been. I mean, the well, the last time I was buying them, he was in Colombia, and with the COVID thing, he was in Colombia, locked down, during COVID, and he's answering our calls. Now, I'm not gonna say he's gonna answer every single call because, I mean, because 
there's just too many of you guys. But let me tell you something, man. For someone to, to share their time and show you how to use their platform, that's big time, man. So that's big time with us, and that's why we're talking about him. We're talking about his his platform, and we're also talking about how how to how to go after uh, or at least target individuals who are in trouble with their properties. Why? Because the chances of them reading a text are far greater than a voicemail, far greater than an email, and even far greater than a call. Than, mm -hmm. than a call. So one more time, guys, on your screen is the uh, Smart Contact webinar with Ted. It is tomorrow. And the comments, the pinned comment, the one that you see in the bottom, uh, is the link. We will also post the link tomorrow to make sure everyone remembers. It is a free training for Smart Contacts and how to use an SMS platform to get more deals. How uh, HPHS is closing deals using Smart Contacts um, and without talking to the seller. Let's go back to these questions because uh, we're, we're dragging on just a little. Uh, Ricky Miller, so like Charles said, uh, maybe a few more details. My opinion, oh, I think you responded already. Uh, so Ricky says it's actually a six unit multifamily. Mm. That makes a big difference already, yeah. so FY. Big difference, because the first time I'm like, eh, pass. But a six unit multifamily, the mortgage is 1400 a month, insurance is 3500 a year. She's open to owner financing, but I get more information tomorrow. If she's open to owner financing, if she already has 11%, I mean, what, what percentage rate she's gonna give? I'd be, I'd be more open to doing a sub two if you can uh, finagle that one. Um, so yeah, that's... Now there is some creative stuff we can do with that. I mean, I'm just... You know, I, that didn't click with my head because I, I just thought he was talking about single family. That's right, I thought he was talking about single family. But now you're talking about a, a multifamily with a balloon. That's a whole Big different ball game. Yeah. But we still need to we still need details. Now there is there is possibly a way that we can actually make that happen if if, if everything comes together. So totally right. interested in that. I mean, if, if you're interested in it for you, I mean, we we would be willing to share with you what we would do with it. Um, but if you're just looking to uh, host it and if we're interested in it, damn, yeah, I mean, we're, my mind's already racing. Right? I know, because he, I think he's the one that also has the other deal as the Quaplex, and the first thing I asked him was, asked him was hey, is it open us up to owner finance? So Ricky, hit us up, man. Uh, I'm going to go back real quick about 10 minutes ago when I talked about finding the trust, a trustee or a beneficiary, and how did I get a text message on a deal that I'm on a, that I'm a trustee on. So Arado responded again. Uh, so the ways he found was who really bought the property is find out who the trustee of the trust was, or, uh, so find out who the trustee of the trust was. Remember, trusts aren't recorded. Uh, so, Rod, if you wanna answer that part. Or the mailing address of the grantee on a deed. So, for example, Charles and I, we buy houses all the time, sub two, and we put them to the land trust. Now, let's just say the house we bought was 123 Main Street. The deed or the trust would be 123 Main Street land trust. The address to that trust would be this office. So that, that's where Rado, I'm assuming that's where Rado's going to. So one, two, three Main Street Land Trust is the owner, and the owner of the land trust is uh, 5975 Bandera, which is Home Item Center Solutions. So if we were to go down to Rabbaho and we see that 5975 Bandera is Home Item Selling, and then we all find out who Home Item Selling is, and they'll find out it's Mike and Charles, and then they send them a text. But the question that what makes this one tricky, Arado, is the deed, the address on that trust, is the actual subject property itself. So 123 Main Street Land Trust, the address for that is 123 Main Street. So that's uh, part two of that. Or TLO, the grantee's mailing address, which we just talked about. If it's a residence, check owner of that address. If it's a PO box, Google it, and which businesses are associated with that. So Arado, all great answers. Uh, that is the answer. But this was a little more tricky because I actually moved into it. So it's not the business address. It's not uh, anything crazy. So that's that goes back to my theory one. Someone like Charles or someone else who knows where I live played a trick on me. Two. What's me, man? Two. They reached out to the original homeowner, and then uh, homeowner just gave my information. So that's my thoughts on that. Um, so we've been on it for for quite a while. A few more comments on here. Facts. Hustle. HPHS. Miguel's on here. Shout out Miguel Diaz. Uh, he's our boy, man. He, he makes things happen. Anthony Chambers. Uh, so all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and start wrapping up, mix. It's been over an hour. But today's podcast was how to close deals without physically talking to the sellers, and it segues, I like that word? I like that word, man. Segway, you ever use those segues, dude? It segues into uh, SMS. So we talked about a lot of stuff, man, we about about but the, the main, the main, the training's tomorrow at one. At the end of the day, guys, what we're saying is that we use a platform called Smarter Contact, which is by far the best one we've ever used, and, and we've been using it for a year, a little bit more than a year, I think, and we're able to blast out 
SMS messages to thousands of people at one time. Now we can use different strategies on how to retarget those people. For example, one of the tar one of, one of the ways that you could do is by sending a, a mistake texts. You know, for this, for example, I know Michael was on the fence. Now I send Michael another message maybe a few days later. I'm like, hey, John, thank you so much for accepting our cash offer. We're ready to we're ready to go and close on this property. You have this vacant, you know, and uh, how can we how can we, you know when can we get on a call? But what that's gonna do for him is gonna be like, hey, I just talked to these guys. I just talked to these guys, you know, uh, uh, two days ago, and he's gonna assume that he you're sending him a text message that was supposed to go to someone else. So chances are that he's gonna be a little maybe a little more motivated now. Because now he's thinking, man, this is this is real, or he's thinking, you know what? I want to sell my properties too. You like that? I do like that, man. I oh. do like that a lot. That should deserve a little buzzer here. So I didn't see enough. I didn't see honestly, man, enough hustles, hustles for me to disclose one of the ways we find trust, man. So let's get let's get that going. That's, that'd be the final tip. So guys, if you guys want to comment, hustle for Charles to give one more golden. That's the golden buzzer one. A uh, golden buzzer, but like we talked about earlier. Uh, from REI SIF to Smarter Context to Propelio. Propelio, guys, that's, you know, we're very fond of Propelio, the academy and uh, everything that Propelio provides to you guys. So if you guys haven't had a chance, if you guys have uh, messed with Propelio, you guys definitely need to go to check that out because that's what we do. And, of course, we will always endorse on what we believe in, guys. Yeah. Um, I want to say something else before. Oh, so we, Charles will give away one more, golden, one more golden nugget. So let me get those like buttons. Let me get those hustle comments. Uh, while you guys doing that, I will put this up. If you guys haven't done so, uh, if you guys haven't done so, Charles and I really want to grow Home Buying Home Center Association. That's where this podcast is live in. If you guys can please help us out by going to the page or to the group, should I say, up top there's an invite members. Go ahead and start inviting people, start inviting uh, individuals who you think would get value from this. So guys, by all means, please do that. Please do so, uh, so we can get that done and please help us out. If you guys haven't done so, visit TurnUpTheHustle.com. TurnUpTheHustle.com is a website that we created here at HBHS on what we do, what's coming up, what events we have, what tools we use, for example, like Propelio and Smarter Contacts. Uh, We have a podcast every Wednesday at 6.30. Make sure you guys follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. On Instagram, at Mike underscore HBHS, at Charles underscore HBHS. And when you guys go to um, YouTube, uh, make sure you subscribe, Home Buying Homes and Association. I want to say one more thing. Oh, uh, the term the hustle.com. Turn up the hustle.com uh, forward slash tools. There's a tools link. You guys can see what we um, what we can provide to you guys. We just want to provide value. One of those things is uh, look at that. One of those things is um, Propelio, uh, smarter contacts, uh, call tools. And if you guys haven't done so yet, if you guys want to see more about smarter contacts, log on that webinar. And when you guys do, and you guys, hey, I want to give this a shot. Don't forget the promo code to get a discount and whatever else feature it comes with. And that promo code is HBHS, which is for home buying, home selling. So, can I say something? Yeah, go ahead. So, we, our, our HBHS properties website, which went up, it's just for, you know, people that want to know about what we do on the, you know, when we sell properties. But our new HBHS solutions site just went up. I think we're still tweaking that one, right? That's uh that's gonna be you know that's gonna be the, the turn up the hustle website is more you know interactive you know our podcast you know and you know what we do oh yeah oh yeah we're gonna be starting we're gonna be starting we're gonna be building that website it's just gonna continue to uh, build itself the eight pages solutions that's our eight pages solutions website the home items on the website but our national website is fixing to go live and that one is nationalhomebuying.com. Is that right, Frank? So our nationalhomebuying.com website is fixing to go live very, very soon. And why are we doing that? We're doing that because we, we're able to, we've learned how to use systems like Smarter Contact, systems like Call Tools, uh, of course, REI, SIP, that we're going to definitely lean on heavily, you know, Propelio, you know, PropStream, and, 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 and of course, other softwares that we also use that we'll talk about at a later time. But we're able to, we're going to be able to launch the national homebuying.com website to target people all around the country now that, that because of those tools. And, we're, and, and of course, the SMS and the REI is going to be real, real big for us. So 
So do we get do we get like it's it just continuing on blessing from everyone. Uh, I always want to give a shout out because I appreciate you guys taking the time out of your Wednesday evening. Uh, so Alma's on here. Alma, thank you. Ricky, of course, our boy. Uh, Michael Broker. Uh, Michael, appreciate you being on here. Mike Jose, Tyler, of course. Tyler's already brought it up. Patrick Weisshouses and Anthony Chambers. Charles and I, we thank you uh, greatly. We're very appreciative. Let's get them that last uh, that last golden nugget, man. That last gold buzzer. Get hyped it up, man, so make sure it's good. It's going to be good, man. So here's the thing, guys. This is just one way that we do it. One way. Just one way, okay? But you got to keep this in mind that the percentage of people you're going to find is going to be really high if they're living in the property. For example, if Michael has a, a trust, he's living in it. So it'll be high for him. But let's just say Michael has a trust, but but now he he only finds it to someone else. Okay, now he owner or excuse me, he rented it out to someone else. So that might be a little more difficult. But if he owner finances it out of the trust to someone else, then then possibly it's still very easy to find because you're gonna find the other person who's gonna find him. So but but if he owner financed it, what makes it hard is because he already sold the thing. So it just depends on the type of transaction. So one way you can do it is of course everybody knows about getting the water list. But a lot of people don't ever talk about everybody. About it. Huh? I don't know about everybody. Well, everybody talks. People talk about getting the 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 vacant, the vacant. Right, right. Okay. What I'm talking about is is you target you, know, you, you you target a neighborhood or you target a city, and with, through through the Open Records Act, you you order the list it has for all the properties that are that are, that are not that are not uh, vacant. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about you want the information for people who have the water on. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And so that's been real difficult for us because we don't have we you know we weren't. We were using a different system, but not for this. But now with REI, I'm really hoping that we can use his system to merge his information. Because one way of going after these trusts is you're, you're matching the, the, the water that's on with the properties that you're targeting. So we're loading, we're loading let's just say, a thousand properties that have trusts, and we got the data for all the, all the water that's on, and we put it together. Now you find the people that are living in the property. And the probability of the people that are living in the property that have that trust is very high. So we would do this manually on Excel sheets, but now with with uh, with Tyler's help, we're hoping to bring that information together and and be able to target these people a lot a lot easier. Now that's just one way we do it, guys. Remember, you can order the vacant you can order the uh, vacant property uh, uh, no water, but you can also order the other one. So that's how we do it. That's one way we do it. But, you like that? I do. So well, Michael doesn't do this stuff, so sometimes when I bring it up to him, cause Michael does all dispos, and I do a lot of the, I do all the acquisition side. But uh, lately, you've been doing both. I have been doing both because Charles, uh, and of course, along with our people, Frank, uh, Frank Tovar, if you guys know, he's our COO. He is very, very important to myself and to, and to Charles. He's not that important to me, man. <laughs> Frank, now you know. Uh, he's here behind the scenes, man. Even with this whole corona, he's here at the office. And, uh, man, we can't do what we do without Frank. But you didn't get a mic. You didn't get him one of these. He has one. He knows he does. He's just not here yet. So well, back to these masks. Uh, we're, we're wearing these masks because my wife made these guys. Um, she's making them herself. She's sewing them together. She's putting this hustle mask, uh, this hustle logo on it, thanks to Ruby. Um, and she's selling them. And she was selling them. The only reason she was selling them is to buy, to make more. Of the same material, the filter that's inside, and everything. And the reason she's selling them to make more is because she's donating to uh, local firefighters. Her sister is a firefighter, um, and now I heard they were low on. They were. They called my wife and said that they didn't have any. Uh, believe it or not, a lot of places don't have any. Um, and she's making it for the homeless uh, to include hand sanitizer. So that's the whole reason it started. Um, and she actually got overwhelmed because it was a lot more than we expected, or what she expected. Because I'm not doing it, believe me. I watch her doing it all day and night, so she got very overwhelmed. Um, My wife's over there helping. She's down. Yeah, Virginia's there earlier, so now Virginia's there helping out because the they're bucks, trying right? to. I don't know. She's having a hard time putting a price on, it and she doesn't it's want to put a price bucks, on. It. It's, it's ten bucks. It's going to a good cause. It's going to a good cause. It's ten bucks. It's going to a good cause, guys. It pays for the filters. Pays for everything in her time, and that's one thing, guys. If you guys want to know about that, hit us up. Frank, can you go to my profile page? And get Jade Flores's, uh, um, copy her link. The whole post. Jade? Jade Flores. 
It's on my it's on my profile. So it's like like like, like four things down. So guys, this is very this is very big too, man. And because of course, you know, all everybody makes mistakes. I've made mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. But the it's it's a woman's REI here in San Antonio. Um, they do they do they have um. Can you cop? Can you can you uh do also uh, copy her on that? Make sure you you, you tag her. So they they are doing a, a GoFundMe man for um the women's battered shelter. Mm-hmm. And uh, they're trying to raise five thousand five hundred dollars. Okay, we've donated some today. There's a few other people who have donated, and um, man, it would be a great cause for you guys to go in there. Any 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 little thing counts. Anything you put in there counts. I mean, but uh, we we we've, we've uh, my sister this, my sister does does a drive every Christmas for the women's uh, the, the battered. women's battered shelter, and we donate to that. You know, we we you know this year a bunch of kids and stuff. They got. You know, they get to get new shoes, they get to get, you know, toys, and, and it's a great cause, man, because a lot of these people, unfortunately, they're in a bad situation, and, uh, and, and uh, they're going through some bad times, and so all of us, maybe you guys are having problems, everybody has problems, but all of us, if you're an investor, and you're making money, and you're doing well, and you can afford, you know, 100 bucks, Five bucks, to be honest. Five bucks or whatever, man. Fifty bucks, a water burger meal. Um, man, go on there and and donate to that cause, man. So Frank in the comments is gonna tag Jake Flores. He's gonna be put a little comment in there that we that we're plugging the GoFundMe, and he's gonna put her whole post in there. And actually, can you also do a separate uh, post, just the link, the GoFundMe link? Mm -hmm. Can you do that right now, please? Yeah. So Frank's working on that, and um, man, that's a good cause, man. So there's a lot, of, a lot of people that we see are trying to help each other out. Of course, we're talking about Smarter Contact today. You guys don't want to miss that because Adam's going to help you guys out. Of course, we're our guy Teddy the Texer. Michael's wife's making these hustle. She just doesn't make them in this color. I mean, she has a different, a lot of different colors, right? The hustle only comes in black, though. Man. Hustle only comes yeah, black we and gold. Stick to black. Yeah. Black and gold, baby. But uh, but she does other ones, you know. She does some for uh, for you know, if you're an outdoors person or mm -hmm. flowers, whatever whatever your thing is, man. Um, these are ten bucks, man, and they come with three filters, and they're going to a good cause. So I see a couple comments. Um, how do I get one? Again, guys, we're not trying to promote mass. That's not what we do. We just happen to be uh, because it's a good cause. If you guys want one, you can just shoot me a text, and uh, I'll link you up with my wife so she a can. A text or, or I mean, not text. Uh, a message on Facebook. Uh, send me a message on Facebook. Or, or put a message on the phone. Uh, yeah, but afterwards, we'll be Hey, Frank, can you put a link in there real quick? For what? For the mask? Pretty quick, though. I don't know. We're about to wrap up. Oh. In the meantime, you can just send me a, a message on Facebook, and then we'll make sure I get you in contact with my wife, and you'll get one. Again, guys, it goes to a good cause. It goes to the homeless that she's doing on her own, that she took the initiative to do. Um, so, again, uh, one last thing, guys. While, while uh, Frank's putting that um, comment on the GoFundMe, which is on there now, if we provided any value, whether it's it's one little drop or it's an ocean of value, whatever you want to call it, from day one to today, all we ask, and we don't we hate to ask this guys, but all we ask is that you invite members to Home Mind Home Center Association. Uh, once you go to the group, all the way up top, you can see who's a member underneath that. It should be a word that says invite. If you click invite, you can just start scrolling down um, and start inviting people. Uh, Charles and I, we see who gets to, who actually invites people, so we appreciate it. everyone who takes. The time out of the day to invite their friends if you think this is value if you think someone else would obtain value from this and uh that's just my little two cents on that weren't you doing a shirt giveaway the other day i was doing a shirt giveaway but i can't do that all the time but i tell you what uh man you gotta set a number on it man you gotta set a number on it so we did a couple shirt giveaway i don't know what it was it was a webinar or something and it works you know and people are really doing it if you guys want a free shirt a free shirt uh they can't see it or? they can see it yeah i can see it. if you want a free turn up the hustle shirt what about a hat Oh man, now you're going a little too much. Turn it around, bro. You're going a little too much, man. Okay, the shirt, man. The shirt, at least. The shirt. Well, you give other gear too, right? Those little the, things. The, the yeah, little we'll give a, a band. Uh, a band here. Uh, it, re it reminds you to, and these little to turn up the hustle. You get one of these little phone things that hooks, that hooks up to the back of your phone that says turn up the hustle. Uh, and I think some turn up the hustle stickers. If you guys want one of those, if you guys want a shirt, a band, and a thing, uh, all Charles and I ask is that you do go to the association. You have to invite 100 people. Uh, we can see who invites, so don't don't invite 10 people. And say, hey, I did it, because I can see who did it and who doesn't do it. 
invite 100 people and send me a message on Facebook saying, hey Mike, I did it, do you see it? I will go on there and I'll make sure that you did. And Charles and I greatly appreciate it. Uh, and you will get one eventually, probably will go out this weekend or early next week. So 100 invites to the association, send me a direct message saying, hey Mike, I sent the 100 and we'll take care of with the hustle shirt, free shipping, no cost to you guys, uh, just so we can grow the association. And the reason we want to grow the association is all we want to do is provide value to someone who's barely starting off, whether it's your first time doing a deal, whether you do one deal a week, whether you do 10 deals a week. If we can provide one little ounce of value, that's all we want to do, guys. And the other thing we want to do, of course you guys can do this on Facebook, but we want to create an association online and eventually we're going to launch it physically, which we still are here in San Antonio. And uh, we, we want to create an association where people can come together and we're going to, we want to create subgroups. So subgroups for, hey, we're going to be talking about fixing flips, which we do a lot of fixing flips. See guys, what we're going to be talking to you about is stuff that we do. And we're going to bring in people to, 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 uh, you know, to also, to, in other words, we're going to talk about flips, we're going to talk, we're going to bring, bring, bring in people who do flips. I, 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 I don't want someone to log off real quick. Uh, so Jade, she just logged on. Uh, Charles and I were just talking about the, uh, the GoFundMe that you just did. Uh, it is one of the comments Charles and I, and along with Home Bottom Center, we have donated to that cause. Uh, you want to do a little work now that she's on? Yeah, you know, um, it's a very important cause to us. You know, we all make mistakes, you know, whether females or, or males, but with the Women's Battered Shelter, I mean, my sister does uh, a thing for them, Christmas and Thanksgiving for them, and we always donate to that. And, uh, you know, it helps It helps these kids that are there, man, that, that, that are frightened and stuff. You know, they get, they, they get they, you know, they, they, during Christmas, they get shoes, they get toys, they get all that stuff. But what I was really happy about was I saw that Jake Flores and her team, which is the, what's her team? Women's Real Estate. The Women's Real Estate, uh, Aria, I think it's called. Mm -hmm. Jade, if you want to plug yourself in right there. Um, that's beautiful, man. That women are coming together and, and they're going to be sharing with each other and helping each other out. But when she created this GoFund and we saw it, we, you know, we, we donated, and we're asking all of you guys, if you're in a position to donate anything, $5, $10, $100, $50, whatever it is in your heart that you can do, man, donate to that fund. I'm gonna tell you something, man. You're gonna be helping out some people who really need help right now. And that is, that's a big thing, man. So, so that's very important to us. So we're hoping that you guys will, will donate, donate to that cause, the GoFundMe, should be in one of those. It's the pin comment now, guys. So yeah. yeah, should be in there. So please, please go in there and do that. And she's trying to reach a go. I think of five thousand five hundred, which I, which which really is nothing, man. We all come together. That's I mean the the the, the number should have been like twenty thousand to be honest with you, but uh but but the more we can raise, the the better these people will be in a better position. Man. So think about it, guys. We're talking about women who need help. And children, their children need help, and and you know, please. So getting back to these, of course, you want these. But can I plug the other thing, man? Yeah, let's go ahead. And We're almost done, guys. So every other Tuesday night, I've committed. Michael's committed. Yeah. Every other, huh? Maybe every other one. Yes, like that. So every every other Tuesday, at least during this Corona thing, we're gonna be doing the late night REI talk. Or chat. I don't know. I, I need a name, guys. But it starts at it starts at twelve for all you night owls. And trust me, we get a lot of people on that thing. We've done it twice. The one time we went to four o'clock in the morning, but I'm not doing four o'clock in the morning anymore, guys. But we're trying to make it an interactive thing. So the first time we did it was just me talking. The last, the other time we did it was actually a, a Zoom on Facebook, and I think that's the route we're going to take. Yeah, right? that's pretty cool. Yeah. So so everybody can talk to each other. We're going to be doing these late night. Um, Zooms every other Tuesday, so not. I think it'll be next Tuesday, and of course, you know, you guys know that we do the podcast. But then also, we're going to be doing these trainings with Smarter Contact. Right. Let's get drop this dude. Every other Thursday. Q just said, "Hustle at night." Hustle at night. That's what's going to be. Hustle late night. Or midnight hustle. Midnight hustle, man. That's what it is. is that Q? Yes, Q. Q, thank you, man. Appreciate you, man. Midnight hustle. Can you put that down? <laughs> Uh, Frank, don't forget that. Frank's not that important to me, man. But he does do everything I ask him, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. So Midnight Hustle, that's that's the thing, man. Okay, thank you, Q. And then uh, uh, the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about this is this, man. We are looking for individuals around the country who are willing to join a private 
very private, exclusive REI team that, we're, that we, we already met with the first group and we're still going through everything with them, you know, and, and uh, we're, still, we're still making some decisions on that. We're looking to build a team that's not only going to get, I don't want to call it mentoring because I, I don't like that word, you know what I'm saying? But what you're going to get from us, man, is straight up, straight up knowledge. We're going to be doing, uh, I haven't put a number on it yet, but it's sure two, maybe three, maybe four a month where we're going to be getting on there for an hour. You're going to be learning from us, all the stuff that we do at no cost. Of course, guys, there's a criteria. There's a criteria that we're expecting from you guys. Remember, it's an exchange of value. And so we're looking for a team, man. Mike wants to keep it a little small, but I want to go big. I want to go, you know, 20, 30, maybe 50 people. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I got to convince him. You guys got to put a lot of a lot of turn up the hustles on there to convince this guy to make the group big. And what we're looking for is a massive exchange of value. And, and those of you who are interested, um, those of you who are interested, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be. Hey Frank, can you go and find that link that I did, man? On the on the you know what link I'm talking about. So Frank's gonna put that link in there. If you're interested in becoming part of that, it's at no cost to you. And we're going to be over, over, and we're looking for a long-term relationship, guys. We're looking, you know, we're looking for a long-term relationship. Whether you fall under the golden black flag and you learn with us, or whether you're independent. As long as you're willing to bring it, what we're going to be asking you for, and it's so simple, we're going to be asking for. We're going to share with you, man, this, everything we do from subject to wraps, Subject to rentals, subject to Airbnbs, subject to uh, you know keepers like Mike did. Uh, we're we're actually going to be launching a subject to crash pad, which we'll talk about. Of course, we portfolio properties, how we portfolio those properties, creative financing, how we do spreading, how we do reverse wholesale deals. Um, of course, how we're working on bringing in capital, our fix and flips. I mean, the list goes on and on. The multifamily that we're doing, we, we're, we're fixing a uh, acquire multifamily units, and we're fixing also wholesale or multifamily uh, complex. So guys, I think what, you know, what we speak on, what Mike and I speak on, you know, I believe we have the stripes to talk about it. We've been doing this for a long, long time. So that's, that's what we're gonna share with you. And if you're, anyone is interested in this, then, then, then reach out to us. Now, don't get hurt if we don't pick you initially, because there's criteria. We're looking for people from around the country, not everybody from San Antonio. So we're only going to pick a few people from different from different cities, and um, so if you're interested, hit us up. I think Frank, you got the link on there? No, I can't find it, but I'll post it right association. Okay, just association, right? Huh? Tenant association. We'll it's, post it on association. Yeah, we'll post it on association later today. We'll we'll post it later later today. It'll be a link, and uh, please go back to association. I'll make it as an announcement, and uh, it'll be a link for that. So, so if you're interested in that. Reach out to us. Keep this in mind, guys. We're only going to be picking a few people from every city. So, so um, if you guys are interested in what we do, that's going to be at no cost to you. The only thing that's going to cost you is effort. That's it. Effort, man. And we'll explain to you what that is. All right, guys. Uh, with that being said, if you guys haven't done so yet, make sure you join Home Buying Home Center Association on Facebook. Again, Charles and I would be greatly appreciated if you can invite members. If you invite 100, you will get hooked up with Hustle Gear. If you invite 100 people, make sure you send me a comment saying you did so. Visit turnuptohustle.com. Make sure you go to the tools, and in tools you see who we associate with for systems like Smart Context, Call Tools, Propelio. And if you guys haven't done so, you guys can log on there and make sure you get your discount if you haven't purchased uh, those um, platforms yet for whatever reason. Uh, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. On Instagram is at Mike underscore HPHS at Charles underscore HPHS. Um, and with that being said, guys, today's podcast was talking to sellers without really talking. We'll put that on real quick so we can log off. Well, really, man, it was about talking it was about, about everything. Really it was talking about a lot of stuff, man. It was talking about a lot of stuff, but the smart contact SMS platform, man, that's how we knock out we knock out deals that way. And, and so there's a promo code, guys, you can use for that, HPHS. But tomorrow, man, I hope to see you there. I hope to see you there, guys. You guys have been calling us and telling us what do you guys use. What do you guys use to get your deals done? How do you do it? Well, we're going to do it for you. And we're teaming up with the owner of Smarter Contact. So please, I, I, I implore you to go in so there. So webinar tomorrow, Smarter Contact, you yeah. see on your on your uh, phones, computers, whatever. Uh, so that's Ted. Ted is the one who does all the SMS here. Uh, he's going to log on and do a Zoom. It's a free Zoom call to you guys. 
be on the lookout on the association tomorrow what time it is it's uh if you guys want to know now i think it's 1 p.m eastern time um so we will post it again tomorrow free zoom call guys um so with that being said charles and i are always appreciative of everyone logging on yeah, they right, i gotta do this real quick man it's a quick story while we're doing this podcast uh so with that being said guys all right, all right, with that being said, guys, here at Home Bottom Center Solutions, we always want to make sure that we turn, turn up the hustle. hustle.